What's up? Hi, what's up? Hey, hey. It's interactive. Fuck it. Guys, it's hot. It is fucking hot out. Georgia is no goddamn joke. It's a borderline hate crime. How hard it is. It's so funny. Like, I went out for a jog this morning and the humidity punched me in my face. That's a joke. I do not jog. <laughs> Guys, I do drive though, and I was driving on my way here, and I got lost in this neighborhood. And there was a sign in this neighborhood that read, drive as if your children lived here. Have y'all seen that? So I did just that, and I turned around and I will never be back. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I pulled out. <laughs> y'all smoke weed? Can y'all smoke weed? I smoke weed, clearly. Uh, I used to smoke a lot of weed before class. I'd show up 10 minutes late and like sneak to my desk and then like hunch over and hope nobody would notice me. I was the worst substitute teacher that Forest Park Elementary has <laughs> Grading papers everybody gets a C. <laughs> you know what you're thinking? And it's true. This is what would happen if a Mexican Jonah Hill were to get the part of Harry Potter. <laughs> but in an all-lesbian production of the book. <laughs> that's what I'm working with. I'm about to test your age. Uh, I got the worst heckle of my life the other day. Uh, I got called on stage, and right before I got to the mic, a guy in the crowd yells, Hug me, brother! Hug me, brother! It's the Nickelodeon fans. Yeah, because I look like uh, Josh Peck's understudy from 2003. <laughs> yeah, I'm standing. <laughs> uh, but they're both hot now, so what's up with me? <laughs> I get, uh, I get uh, compared to a lot of celebrities. Uh, I moved to Atlanta about a year ago, and on my fourth day here, I was mugged in Cabbage Town. Yeah. And the guys that mugged me were, uh, one was a Latino guy, and the other guy was a white guy. Uh, so I couldn't be too mad at them because they were like in a big middle finger to Trump. <laughs> but the guys, they, uh, they pulled a knife out on me. And a little bit about me, I'm not a tough dude. Not at all. Like I pretended to be asleep during a fight once. <laughs> That's not gangster. <laughs> so I see this knife and immediately I get super sleepy. And the guys steal $400 from me. They, they stole $400 from me. Why did I have $400? Because I got it like that. But right before they threw my wallet back in my face, one of the guys was nice enough to look at my ID, and he was like, yo, straight up, you look like your Frozy O'Donnell fucked her character from Tarzan and got pregnant and shit you up. And I just looked at him, I was like, yo, solid burn. <laughs> He's like, you know what, go ahead and keep that $400, you've earned it. <laughs> That's a $400 joke. <laughs> I need it to be a $400 joke. <laughs> oh. I'm a gay guy, surprise! <laughs> um, a lot of people are surprised when I tell them that I'm gay, because I, I feel like I'm straight passing. <laughs> this guy gets it. <laughs> but uh, I'm actually, I'm just now coming to the conclusion that people don't think that I'm straight, they're more surprised at the fact that, like, I have sex. <laughs> but I'm like, I fuck. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, I've been, <laughs> I've been uh, trying to take online dating a little bit more seriously. I've, uh, I've had the apps before, but my bio just only read, uh, I took bros before hoes a little too seriously. <laughs> fucking cute. <laughs> but it doesn't get me the guys that I want. Like, the guys that I match with always hit me up. They're like, oh my god, you're so funny. Are you a comic? Oh my god, you're so funny. Do you do comedy? Oh my god, you're so funny. Can I suck your toes? All messages I got today. <laughs> but I am trying to take it a little bit more seriously, so I, uh, I got my grinder. Y'all know grinder? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And, I know what you're thinking, like, oh no, another gay comic doing a grinder joke? Yeah, you're right, but I wrote it, so I'm gonna say it. <laughs> uh, and I just wanna preface, looking for love on Grindr is like trying to get an abortion in Georgia in about a year and a half. You go in with a lot of hope, 
then you leave getting fucked by an old white dude. <laughs> That's kind of. But it is, it is horrible. <laughs> but, and that's what I gotta deal with. Uh, so pray for me. But uh, I did, I, I started a profile and uh, I, um, I got hit up by this dude and this dude was like, hey, what's up? And I read his profile and his name was 8.5 inches uncut. <laughs> Exotic. <laughs> and his bio read, looking for an ass bandit to come hop up on this caboose and take this booty. No fats, no femmes, no black guys. A true poet. <laughs> so I hit him back up, I was like, hey, how's it going? And uh, not even a second later, he hits me back and he sends me a close-up picture of his butthole. To which I don't say anything because, well, what do you say to the man of your dreams, right? <laughs> And so I leave it, but he kept, he's persistent. So he sent me like six or seven more pictures, and each picture was getting progressively closer <laughs> to the point where I was like, I should probably put on a condom. <laughs> also, what are you doing? Like, are you at a colonoscopy? And you just look back at the doctor, and you're just like, hey, doc, what are, they, are they good? They look good? You know what? Just fucking send them all to me. I gotta ruin a guy's day later. <laughs> so I watch porn. <laughs> Because <laughs> dating isn't going well. What's your favorite porn? Like, kind of porn. <laughs> Leave me hanging? Okay, cool. My favorite kind of porn is uh, parody porn. You guys familiar with parody porn? That's porn that's based off TV and movies, like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> it exists, look it up. Uh, but I feel like there's not enough uh, representation in the musical theater and theater like portion in porn, so I've come up with a few. Number one, the Book of More Men. <laughs> the Ass Menagerie. <laughs> Little Shop of Whores. <laughs> a musical or a porn based on the musical Cats called Cox, but it's still about cats. <laughs> My personal favorite, Peeny Todd. The semen gobbler of Skeet Street. <laughs> and then there's Rent. But I'd keep it the same. Because if you guys have never seen that musical, everybody in it is fucked. Guys, thank you so much. I've been Kevin Delgado. Please give it up for Mr. Joe Bennett.